Why is it every time you come to this? Hi, Mum. I uh, just went. Literally, I, I literally just, I've literally just pressed live. Bye bye. Just while I wait for some others to come in, I'm building some coils for my friend. Yes, Terry, that would be you. Oh, our moderator. Then I'll get on to the OBS I build. Hi, John. Two, three, four. <sighs> Hi, Mum. I don't know who the third person is because I can't see them. Ah, there we go. Now I can. Can't even pronounce his name. <laughs> Uh, it's easy to say Jax, I think. It's from his middle name. Oh, I'm fucking crap at reading. So how's everyone this Saturday? The other half's just gone out to the pub. So I thought, get on with a live build. All the way, just knock up a few calls to my mate. That's four, six, five. How are you, John? Kids down the other end, so if you end up hearing shouting and screaming, it's they're doing my head in. Game talk. Yeah, at the moment I'm just making up some two millimetre coils. Some 25 gauge five wraps for Terry Hopkins, as we gave him a tank the other day. That only takes two mil coils. It's um, mini goblin, but his daughter doesn't bite very much. Only holds two mil of juice. So I says to him, when I've got this chance, I'll knock up some coils for him because I, I set it up the other day. Hey, Stuart. I'm not starting that. I'll lose where I am with my wraps. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get another one from that. I can't stand the cold either. It's been doing my back in summer chronic. I don't think that's any good. Yeah, went out the other day and nearly bloody fell over. Walking past the high rise on the way to the school, and I found the only patch of freaking ice, and it landed on my ass. The old guy across the road found it funny though. I think that was his laugh of the day. Right, um, right, let's get on with this then. Right, now I can show you if I drop down with the two mil cores I've made. I already know my diameter of coil. There's the OBS deck, already dismantled. Um, that is a tiny little 2 mil coil. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them were laughing, Stuart. I was like, ah, oh, my ass. So as you can see, it just slips straight between the posts. 
that one slip straight through. So I'm going to do a 2.5. So I'm going to put that bit over there. Put my coral jig together. I love this bloody coral jig. Ah, uh, no, no good. No, move it. The worst thing is, though, is everywhere I was dry, there was just this one tiny little patch of puddle. It's that big. Like that. And I managed to find it. It's the worst thing ever. Now, where did I put my water? Oh, God. Oh, there it is. Right, so I've got a nice little selection of wires. Um, which one to do? No, I don't want to do that. Stupid notifications. So, how are you been, Robert? I know Stuart's been doing a few live reviews recently. He did one on Dinner Lady. Gave his honest opinion. And I quite agree with you on that one, Stuart. Yeah, tell me about it, Mum. I wish someone else would find a bloody frozen puddle. Um, no, I've had hiding in it before. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a hive. Hive wire. Let's drop all that back in. I had to thread all the bloody wires back on the reels yesterday. Were you on Tiger? Again! I did Tiger the other day. Let's see if I have got Tiger left. That one. Tiger it is then. Let's put that back right there. Yeah, my boxer wires. I'd sort it out all the other time. The other half goes in it. Here's the wire and let's it all go. That'll do. Stupid notifications. Not even on my computer today. I apologize. Do you? Yeah, but at the end of the day, if they don't want an honest opinion, why give you the juices to do a review on? Like I say to my sponsors, if I don't like one, I'll say sorry, but it's not for me. Simple as. It's like um, Robert Coates will tell you, there was a peanut butter one amongst all the Nova juices. And uh, I like peanut butter, don't get me wrong, but um, on a sandwich, not as a vape. And I found the dinner lady one quite sickly when I had it. But I had to buy it, yeah, I bought it to try it, because I like lemon tarts, so. Alright, Steve, how's the little one? Right, one, two, three, four, If anyone can see that, let's move it closer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I physically say, you know, Dave, if it's not for me, it's not for me. You can't really help what your days are like. Everyone's different. It's like um, the other half, Mum. And my moderator, all like peanut butter as a babe. I couldn't stand it. Just wasn't for me. Not my cup of tea, not as a babe. So that's one coil done. Let's rest that there. You can see it just fit nicely in between the posts. What wire? Uh, it's tiger wire as requested by mum. It's 26 gauge. So, not bad. Where's my other bit gone? It's because I'm not on my desk. My desk's over there, it's a lot smaller. I know where all my stuff is, it's normally on my lap. So, one, two, three. I had tiger wire in it the other day and I went to change the cotton and I bloody snapped on the bloody coils. <laughs> so, 
it is a perfect time to deliver it to you and rebuild it. The only thing I find is with if you use yeah, if you use anything um, like organic cotton, you will get a dry hit if you haven't put enough in there. Because the stupid design of them tiny little pissy holes are doing my nutting. But last time I did it, I overpacked it with fuzz. So this time, I've pre got my strips of fuzz ready. So hopefully, I shouldn't get a dry hit this time. <laughs> but it's a case of trial and error. Oh, where's my Allen key go? So, as everyone can see, the Lerms Reader. So, what are you up to, Stuart? God, these Allen keys are annoying. Don't argue, boys! Um, I've done five wraps on a two and a half millimetre bit, Mum. Where's my little god? So yeah, I like to use the, the coiling rod as well, hold my coiling place so I don't squash it. And it's just a case of lining it up. Making sure you get it inside the inner circle without touching the posts and without being too far over. So let's tighten that side up. Thanks for sharing, Mum. Ow. I just stuck myself now. So, let's put that in a bit more. Bottom on this side. Bells don't keep typing to people. Cats interfering with my messenger now. I'm going to bell. Shut up, Missy. You're not coming out. So. I don't know if you'll be able to see how close I have got my gap. But a 2.5 with hive wire is pretty goddamn close. And it's right on the edge. I might I'll be able to bring that one leg in a bit more. Such a tiny deck. Such a little deck. But then I'll kick. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So it's screw my legs. I don't shoot myself in the face. See, advantage about putting your thumb over the edge. You don't flick you in the face, it's flicks you in the thumb instead. Right.
Now let's get the other one in. I do like to get the calls there. Uh, quite centralised, I'm a bit finicky and fussy. So obviously the better, better the centralised you'll get more vibe because it's um comes through as bottom airflow. Hi Jess! So let's just tighten that one down. Rod. So push that side in. Calm down. I cut them as close as I can get them to the posts. Because um, I found if you leave a tiny bit of the wire sticking out through the opposite side of the post, you'll get cotton burn. Which tastes absolutely nasty. So what I tend to do is I um, cut it as close to the post as I can. Which I can show you in a sec. Just finish lining this one up. noises everyone can hear in the background yeah um I've done that before mom when I first started to build I used to have a lot of problems doing that hi Leanne so um yeah go inside the camera don't know how well you can see that what I tend to do is slide the pliers right round that wire and then trim it making sure you don't cop your coil if it's great if you've got a flat post and snip and same to the other side and if you can run the end of your pliers over where your hole is I always find you won't have that problem of getting the odd bit that sticks out and getting a burnt taste on your cotton just like I would have had there so as you can see, I couldn't have got them any closer into that inner circle if I tried. And it's that inner circle there, just in front of my fingernail, that you have to work with. Not the outer one, because the glass sits inside. And then it's a case of checking the aims, firing them up, and the awkward part of wicking through them tiny little holes. But as soon as you've got the wicking down, the OBS is a fantastic tank and you can get a lot of production, vapour production from it, so it's always been one of them, you go away from it for a bit and you come back and you go away from it for a bit and you come back, but I still quite like it. Another thing I like to try and do is get my coils so they're level. But I find with the OBS, if you get it as close to them centre holes, the airflow holes either side, you get the best vapour. I find if you go try and go over, so you're more towards the um, juice flow, you balls it up. Hi Natasha! See, I went to Shady the other day as well, and Natasha quite 
happily help me pick out cat. Look at that. Done off bring out my cup of it, so another thank you for that, Natasha. Really liking that airflow as well on that. And the fact it's adjustable when warm wheels are makes it a whole new vaping experience. So you want the cotton, as I've found, to be quite tight with the coils. But not too tight, because if it is too loose and it just slips through easily, when you come to wicking the holes, you'll get leaking, although there's juice control. So there you go. Nice and And I tend to cut it using the outside of the dish. So just against that part there. So if you don't, you tend to not have enough wick in there. Let's clear up this bit. So you show something like that. And the great thing about fuzz is you don't have to sit there and get your spiky tweezers and fluff it all up. You just need them to poke it in the else, which is the tricky part. So I like to grab it for that and stuff it down in. And it's a case of teasing the rest down. Don't know how well you can see this. But if you have it too tight that it doesn't go in nice and easy, it won't take in the juice properly. As I built it the other day when I was half asleep, and I had a wicked dry heat when I got up in the morning. So um Bit of a kick in the teeth for me. So, uh, so enough that it's just sticking out fluffy. There's one. Just, just want it out, just enough so you can see the fluffy edge. Because when you pull in the juice into your first vape, that will all be sucked in flush. So yeah, when one side's done it sort of looks like that. Mind you without a little bit sticking out, so I'll just tuck that bit in. So uh and I've gotta take the cotton out and do it all over again because I've bloody forgot to check the ohms, see? When you're talking to kids and you're trying to talk on a video, my brain just wonders. So, back to before we put the cotton in. We have 1.5 ohms. See, 1.5, 1.6, so 0.15. So, let's take that off there. Give it a little pulse. Before I go to recotton it, because my brain's not working with this, I say this is what pain meds do to you. I shouldn't build and be on pain meds at the same time, but it's not fun being in pain either. So, trusty H brick. Yes, it's a new coil. So, again, I don't know if you can see that. No, it's not going to focus. But 0.16. Got it reading at 50 ohms. Let's see how bad they glow. Where's my ceramics? Because I ain't touching them. Got a hot spot. So what? Yeah, only human. I like how you say that. Only human that's half brain dead today, I think. I suppose it just proves I'm live, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not pre-recorded. 
for those who watch it later. <laughs> Just so you can see, sorry, I was doing it off camera then. Just trying to get them to go nice and even. At the moment I've got this one to tune. Not quite good enough. So I'm just going to strum along and see if I can tease out the cold spots. The one's taking slightly longer to heat up. Just get my Allen key, double check the grub screws are tight enough. Holding not the fire trigger. So I don't want to set myself on fire when I do this. Just tighten them down a bit more. A little pulse. There we go. Nice and even. There we go. Let's get the cotton again. Just start again with the cotton so you can see. Where did I put my cotton? It's in my kit. See. So now it's got a nice long strip of fuzz straight from the tin. I'll keep a spare bit in my kit just so I know it's easy to grab, especially if you're just doing a quick rewick. Cut off about an inch strip. cheat now. This little bit of fuzz can do four times of that. So cut straight down the middle. The same for um, anyone who's got the Griffin or the Gemini. I've done exactly the same procedure. Take it, flatten it out and just chop it into four. Again with this bit. And I found fuzz, especially if you've got um, quite a hot build, where it holds a lot of juice in an RDA, RDTA, sorry, and in RDAs. But if you use fuzz and you've got quite a hot build, even if it's on um, a regulated, it will um, still keep you nice and juiced up so you don't get that nasty dry heat. You'll lose the taste before you get that nasty dry heat. Hi Terry! I've got you some calls made up for Lisa. Nice little stash. And they're Lisa's ones. I'll do you some later. They would fit in yours but the arms would be a lot different to what you used to. So I'm in the house all on me lonesome at the minute. So I've stole the other half's computer to do the review because, well, although we sorted out my mic the other day, it's um, a bit hard to see everyone's comments when you have to angle your screen down, being on the laptop, of course. So. Bits off. Slight twist. Yeah, I find it hard to do uh, a few 
few things at once, especially when you're rebuilding, I'll just kind of get on with it. Home Trader, Mod, Fire, Cotton, Juice, Vape. And when you're talking, you sort of lose track, especially when you've got to hear, listen out for the kids down the other end of the ring. Because the little sobs, they can go from being nice and cute and calm to being a pain in the bum and arguing about silly little things that you think. Yep, and now I can see why my parents used to argue at me and say, shut up. You'll see what we mean when you have your own kids. So, yeah, Mum, now I understand. So, uh, you don't think how close they get to you when you, you, your parents turn around and say, you'll understand when you've got kids. Well, guess what? Yeah, I have a bloody meaning now. So, um, it's one of them. So. It's just an extra fluffy bit there, I don't like it. So now we've fired and seen the glowing, let's get back to re wicked again. So, Mace, close your door, please. Thank you. Small flat, and you can hear them every time they play games. When it's game talk, I wish they came with a mute button sometimes, I'm telling you. So again. How many calls you got left, Terry? Nice. Nice. So if you just again leave it so there's a little bit let's move it in close. Yeah, if I just turn that you can see it just there where it sticks out above the edge of the tweezers. That all gets pulled in and you start to vape, so let's move any loose bits off that is before I turn. So Terry, how many coils you got left? Oh, I've only got one viewer. Everyone's run away. nicely neatly tucked in with a tiny bit sticking out of the juice holes ready for when wicking. Yeah I know mum, you're the only one who stayed. <laughs> so for those who watch it later, I'm using some of the sponsor's juice from Nova Vapes. Sort of reminds me of um, Lilt but with a, palm a sweet pomegranate on the end.
choose it. It's nice and juiced up. Connect that together. Pull up cap. Closing off the juice flow. And fill. This is a 4.2 mil tank, for anyone that would like to know. Okay, Juice flow back up. And let's bring it up to the top. Sorry for those that have stuck around. It's how you build an OVS. Sorry it wasn't entertaining. Um Still reading 0.16 50 watts tiger wire. So there you go. Anyone got any questions? Whoever's still here. Hi, mum. As you can see, even from a small pool, quite a lot of vapour. Right, one moment, I'll be back. Just got a drink. As everyone seems to have gone. Oh, I hope you enjoyed my live build. I hope it helps some of you out there. And um, catch you later. Alright, bye.